You might not be able to see butterflies outside just yet, but you can definitely see them here at the Botanical Garden. Now, uh, you can see some of the butterflies uh, behind us, uh, Lydia. Now, uh, they're, they're still sleeping because, uh, you know, the sun hasn't totally come out yet. So do we have to whisper? Do we have to whisper? No. I think it's okay. We it's can, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We don't have to whisper. Okay, that's good. Um, now, obviously, there's, there's so many different species here, uh, about 60 different uh, species of butterflies. You come check out. Uh, sometimes there's up to 2,000 different butterflies uh, here in this amazing greenhouse. Uh, let's talk about some of the most popular ones. Now, you were saying one of the most beautiful, one of the most popular is the blue morpho. I think we have some footage of that. Yes, the blue morpho is very, very popular here at the greenhouse. And of course, you know, uh, in nature, there are two types of uh, colors. You can find structural colors and pigmentary colors. And so the blue morpho has structural colors. It means that when light strikes the semi-transparent scales, you can see that the blue light is then uh, reflected. Wow. Pretty amazing, yeah. That is pretty amazing. Another amazing thing, uh, the next butterfly we're going to talk about has a very a unique way of uh, possibly defending itself, right? Yeah, possibly. We're not quite sure, but this great uh, giant owl butterfly has, you know, two uh, drawings of eyes on its wings. And so maybe it is to scare of the predators. <laughs> it does. It really looks like an owl when it spreads its wings. It's crazy. And the last one, um, now, this is not a butterfly. Uh, you have moths here as well. And this is one of the first things I saw when I walked through the doors here. And I was a bit terrified. I'm not going <laughs> to lie about it. Yeah, they're pretty impressive and really big, right? They're considered as the biggest butterflies in the world. So it's a big moth that comes from southeast of Asia. And you can see that some butterflies or moths actually are lacking scales in some parts of their wings, letting the light passing through. It, it honestly, it looks like something prehistoric. It's crazy. You gotta come check this out. Uh, it's on until April 26, guys. I'll send it back to the studio.